Yo, yo, yo. What's up, guys? It's Kairos, and I'm going to be showing my summer pickups today, starting with three pairs of pants that I picked up from the tailor. So the first pair of pants that I'm going to be showing is this pair of double knee Carhartt shorts. The he's came to me as a 38. And every time I would put them on, they would literally drop down to my ankles. So that was not the move at all. I had to take them to the tailor. He did some tricks on it. Now they're a waist size 30. <laughs> the next pair of pants is a pair of Y Project cowboy cuff denim. And first, I had no problems with these, but then I started to realize how massive the thighs were. So I took them to the same tailor. He did tricks on it again. And then for something that I felt was a personal attack against me was how our legacy decided to make these digital denims only come in an inseam 28. <laughs> that really rubbed me the wrong way. So I tried to find a workaround by buying a waist size 34, thinking that, you know, if I buy a bigger waist size, they would sag enough to the point where they won't be capris on me. So when I got them in the mail, that 34 was wide as hell. <laughs> so they dropped to my ankles. And I was just like, wow, like, I guess they won, bro. They stopped me from dripping these pants. But I realized I could just take them to the tailor, get him to adjust the waist, and they can sag to the perfect amount where that they're not capris, but they're also not mopping the piss off the floor. So here we are now. They fit amazingly. So for the next section of this video, we're going to be talking about what I got from the Essence Summer Sale. Um, starting with the chucks, um, just a quick pro tip, like this is a gamer tip right here. If you ever want Chuck Taylors, wait for an Essence sale. They put those on a sale so stupid, it literally makes no sense. These were like $28 and literally all the Converse were $28, like highs, lows, whatever color you can imagine, $28. So definitely like if you need chucks wait for that essence sale because it's goaded trust so moving on to the next two things i got from essence they're not summer friendly at all they're two beanies the first one is an elder statesman parker beanie um elder statesman's beanies are like really elite their cashmere quality is impeccable i have two of these already so i got this one it's blue and white the dye is beautiful it looks really great i can't wait to wear it this winter if we even get a winter and then the next beanie i picked up was this red gray and black and white earl beanie um red is my favorite color so and i rarely wear it because it's just such a powerful color but i like to keep it you know a little bit more toned down but this beanie was pretty cool. I thought it was executed brilliantly. It was also on a pretty good sale, so I decided to cop it. Moving on to some more pants. The first pair is a pair of Acme Double Knee Trousers. They just fit amazing. They're not super wide. They kind of flare out at the bottom, and the whiskering on the wash is super nice too. I actually was kind of worried when I first bought these because they were called khaki, and I was thinking Jake from State Farm khaki, but thankfully these are more olive than beige. And the next pair of pants is actually another pair of Acme Studio denim jeans, right? These are probably my favorite silhouette of jeans right now. Um, they're just a nice loose boot cut, but they're not too baggy, to so I like that about them. These are already like super dirty. At first I was like kind of conscious about that. I'm like, I don't want people to think that I'm literally like a dirty dude, but I just kind of got over it. No one really notices, I think. Even the buttons on these are like dirtified compared to the ones I have on right now. Moving on to some tops. First, we have this double RL type two denim jacket. I also wore this one in my last video. It has elite whiskering on the sleeves. It's just been aged pretty nicely. I love the details of it. I did buy it used, so I did not put the whiskering in. I didn't do the time. So I'm definitely rocking with that. Um, so after that, 
like I said in my last video, I'm really, really starting to get into rugby's. So the first rugby here is a brown and white striped polo, Ralph Lauren the rugby. There's like a million of them on Grailed and it's really just pick your poison. So after like scrolling through Grailed, I found two that I really like and this is one of them. I like the crest on its like chest. I like how it has uh, R Lauren stitched into the neck. It's very cool. It feels really personal, you know? very vibey. The next rugby is this white and red polo one as well. Um, red is my favorite color like I mentioned earlier like but it's rare in my closet. I like the patch on this one. The PRL really hard. I like how it's all like monogram like that. Super authentic to me. When you think of a rugby this is what you think of. They just give me like pirate vibes. Last top we're gonna talk about is this Nike Martine Rose button-up. I remember like the days leading up to the release date for this collection. I was like debating on blue and pink. I did go with blue. I love how the Nike swoosh is stitched in. I also like how the Martine Rose crest is also there too. That's like it's really beautiful crest. I like the Martine Rose screen print on the body. It's like a it's like a soccer jersey dress shirt that also has some F1 formula racing vibes to it too. I like the striping on this. I like how it's not solid blue. Like it gives it more texture. I think it's an honestly just a straight up beautiful shirt. Okay, so for the outerwear, <laughs> let's just start with the elephant in the room. This big ass jacket right here. Um, this is the Balenciaga painter coat. Like this one definitely is not for everyone because I would say like if you're under 5'10 and you're putting this jacket on, like yeah, you'll be sweeping the streets with this one for sure. I just love this jacket though because it's like real paint. The material they used for it, this duck is also used to create canvas. So that's like such impeccable attention to detail. It also has raglan sleeves, which is cool. The buttons are beautiful. And the interior is nutty. I just love this jacket a lot. I can't wait for it to get cool enough for me to put that on. And realistically, it's just way too hot right now to put that on. You know, you can definitely wear this three out of four seasons, you know. The next piece is this Our Legacy Dolphin Coat. I have an Our Legacy whale coat. It's the gray coat I'm wearing in my YouTube profile picture. Um, but this is the black single-breasted variant of that coat. The double-breasted is the whale. You know, whales are bigger, I guess. That was what they were doing over there. It's super sleek, it's super classy and stylish, and it's just a nice wool. It's heavy duty. And I got this for a stupid steal as well. So shout out to that grilled seller. I know rent was probably due. Then the last piece I want to talk about is this Acne Studios bomber jacket. Um, this one is really dope. The way that the, the neckline, the ribbing and the sleeves are like kind of crocheted is really cool to me. It kind of gives it like a DIY kind of handmade look. I also like how cracked the nylon shell on it is. It's kind of like pre-distressed i cannot wait for it to get cold because like i have too many fire outerwear pieces that i just can't wear right now because if i stepped out in any of these three jackets i would literally turn into a puddle because it's in hot right now yeah just praying praying for it to hit 60 degrees because then i'm putting it all on tight you know what i'm saying okay so time for the hats um i picked up three hats let's start with this one this hat is a CPFM human made collab hat. I just really have always loved this hat. This is the second time I've had this hat. I had it in 2019 in beige, but I bought this in June in green to replace that one. I like how plant is stitched across the top. It's just so raw. You don't see anything like this. And that's what I really like when I'm looking for hats is stuff that, you know, you can't just stumble upon you know like something that has like intentional design and it's unique and 
This next hat I showed in my last video is the Alexander DiGenova New York graffiti cap. It's super distressed. I love the graffiti on it. Reminds me of a little bit of Balenciaga with their skater stuff. Yeah, I love the details on this. <laughs> I'm not about to repeat what it says on this hat, but it's pretty funny. It's pretty cool. And then for the last hat, we have this Louis Vuitton chain hat. This hat is really cool to me because I've always wanted like a thick hat and this one is really thick like construction wise i love the graphic on it this chain motif they use on the logo is really nice it has a nice synergy when i wear my chrome hearts paper chain with it it's just really thematic i love it it also has a leather strap which is i don't know the leather on it is really meh you know it's i but it's not it's nothing crazy Metal clasp to lock it. it, says Louis Vuitton on it, it's whatever. But just how the hat is constructed with the chain, you know, how it matches my chain, it's pretty goaded. This section, we're gonna combine shoes and accessories just because I'm wearing two of the four things that I'm gonna show off in this section. So starting off with the stuff I'm wearing, um, these checkered Vans slip-ons, I think these are like LX whatever's, I don't know. I got these from um, a one Canadian streetwear store that used to drop all the sneakers. I forgot the name. It's slipping my mind right now, but if you can, always buy in CAD, because the USD just, you know how it goes. I got these for like $50 out of conversion. It doesn't sound like much, but in the States, they're like 78, 79. Yeah. Then the next thing is actually this Chrome Hearts triple cross ring. Um, I got this from Chrome Hearts Honolulu. So it was really special. I bought this to celebrate my internship this summer. Uh, bro, I'm always just looking for a random reason just to buy something. Like, wow, yeah, I had an internship in the summer of 2023. So now moving on to the stuff that's here, starting with the shoes again. I picked up these Bottega Strut Grid Derbies. I have the quilted loafers but those are like i mean there's nothing wrong with them if i'm being completely honest i think those are probably the most goaded shoe ever i wear them all the time so i decided to buy this um the leather on these is absolutely insane just bottega leather is the finest leather and these are cool i like the sole I like how it's not a lug sole because I'm kind of into deep on Bottega lug sole and I do not need any more of that. I like the shape. I love the laces. I like how narrow they are compared to my other Bottegas because those ones are all chunky and these are like the ones I feel like I could probably wear to work, you know? Yeah, but I like how all new Bottega shoes, they all smell like chocolate on the inside. Moving on, this is a Prada fur belt. This is the black colorway. I think the black one is the rarer color. This is double studded, so it has studs on the top and on the bottom. Super furry, has leather on the inside. It's just a really nice belt. It's a real creature for sure. I feel like I got an animal hanging off my waist when I'm wearing this. It's nice. I can't wait to try styling it more as like a focal point of the outfit and not just like a subtle accessory. But yeah, so that concludes the pickups. I'd just like to thank you guys for watching. Now, if you have any feedback, if there's any videos that you would like to see, please comment them down below. You know, I'll look at them and I'll see what I can do. I'm having a really busy semester. I'm taking seven courses on my way to graduating this December, but that's life, you know? I'm doing this and that, so, hey. I had somebody tell me I fell off. Ooh, I needed that. Mm -hmm.